everyone my name is rudhika upadhyay and i have cleared the madhya pradesh civil jat examination 2021 with an all india rank 47 i have been a part of alif for judicial So uh Shrutika right yes ma'am introduce yourself ma'am my name is Drutika Upadhyay i am a resident of Bhopal Madhya Pradesh and my parents are retired government servant from Navodaya Vidyalaya Samiti i have completed my undergraduate course from Hidayatullah National Law University Raipur in the year 2021 and thereafter i have pursued my LLM in criminal law from Rabindra Tagore University Bhopal in the year 2022 and simultaneously i was preparing for the judicial services examination uh, your name seems to be quite different so what does this mean uh, ma'am the name has been derived from a hindi word drut which means quick or fast Do you justify your name? I believe so. Okay. Uh, you belong to Bhopal. Bhopal. Uh, your uh, birthplace is Shivpuri, right? Yes, ma'am. Narwar Shivpuri. Uh, Shivpuri. Uh, what are the tourist places in Shivpuri? uh ma'am uh, one of the very uh, famous tourist spot would be the chhatri which uh, is an example of like a blend of mogal and hindu architecture it is it basically uh, there uh, one can see the uh, tombs of the ancestors of the sindhya family there surrounding the natural greenery and the other would be uh, the bhadaiya kund it is a natural spring lake uh, surrounding the chhatri सर्टन suggestions what could be done so as to overcome that particular what challenge. are the reasons sir one of the reason one of the prime reason that could be attributed towards the uh, pendency is that the ratio uh, that is between the population and the appointment of the judicial officers is uh, quite less which leads to the pendency of cases the other one could be said to be often we see that uh, advocates and lawyers go on a strike so that could be the case and uh, <coughs> Yes, sir. So these are the two reasons that I could recall. So, what are the solutions to these two problems? Uh, sir, one is that the uh, regarding the recruitment of the judicial officers, the like ratio could be uh, increased, and the other one is that uh, we uh, the uh, legal fraternity needs to be more sensitized. That even though uh, there is. Uh, there would be uh, reasons for going on a strike but at the end of the day it is the common man or the litigant who is suffering due to these strikes so if these two things are kept in mind uh, i think we can ensure what do you think why these appointments are not made if it is required what what can be the practical challenges behind that sir at the higher level that uh, i have read up in the recent past is that often uh, the like the lawyers or the people who are given this uh, offer they are not very willing to join the judicial services so that is one they of, often decline it and uh, yes sir this is the one reason that i could think of now uh, all right so in case you get selected as a judicial officer how will yes, you sir. contribute to this how will you uh, solve this problem of pendency sir um i believe that if i am given this opportunity the one way in which i could contribute is that <clears throat> i would ensure that 
though there is a provision regarding adjournments in the civil procedure code i would make sure that uh, it is followed and even though like uh, while adopting a humanitarian or a lenient approach towards it i would make sure that these adjournments if it exceeds the three adjournments i would make sure that those are given on genuine grounds and make sure that this uh, approach of the court is not being misused of all right all right you have also mentioned table tennis yes sir uh, can you tell me how playing table tennis can help you in your selection sir uh, one of the very uh, common ways or most known is that uh, why like in every sports person there is a sense of discipline i think uh, this could be one of the re re uh, like the helping way towards my selection second is it gives me uh, a sense of responsibility towards my team making me a team player uh, table tennis mein such thing hoti hai yes sir but uh, like but there is a uh, yes sir but there is a sense of sportsmanship which is inculcated to uh, through these games uh, yes sir these two Think I think are the attributes which would help me. Okay. Are you aware about the latest amendments to the surrogacy law? Yes, ma'am. Uh, as far as my knowledge is, tell me how do you perceive the surrogacy law? As a, it's good or it has some flaws? Uh, ma'am, I believe it is a positive step towards a progressive India, and. Uh, especially uh, regarding uh, like since uh, same sex uh, relationships have been recognized by the honorable supreme court but one thing is that one uh, a drawback which i am able to recognize in this particular uh, bill is that the same sex couples have not been uh, included in it so as to uh, adopt this means as a uh, process of uh, having a ch child and but it is a positive step towards uh, for helping those couples who have uh, like medical infor infertility having proven infertility it is a positive step towards them uh, as including a means but uh, the bill is regarding it only promotes altruistic surrogacy and it prohibits commercial surrogacy which i think is a positive step okay Uh, you have done your graduation from uh, Hidayatullah National Law University. Yes, All right. Uh, can you tell me something about your university? Yes, sir. The so, um, Hidayatullah National Law University was established in the year two thousand and three, and it is named after Honorable uh, Justice Muhammad Hidayatullah, and uh, he has also served as the first Chief Justice of the MP High Court and. Uh, the university is six in the series of the national law universities and uh, the motto of the university is dharma sansthapnartham which means for the sake of establishing the primacy of laws of eternal values okay, okay. Uh, can you tell me something about this city raipur yes sir sir raipur is the capital city of the state of chatisgarh and uh, uh predominantly chatisgarh is a, a tribal state and uh, recently uh, the along with the city of raipur there's um, the city of naya raipur is being developed uh, where the university is predominantly situated and it is fourth in the cities that are being planned on the smart city uh, project and uh, there are various uh, tourist spots that one can visit one of the very famous uh, spots is the vivekanand sarovar other one could be mahant ghasidas memorial museum then there is mahadev ghat and yes sir all right uh, durdika crpc mein maintenance ka provision hai yes sir uh, jab ki personal laws mein already ye provision tha ki maintenance ke kiya ja sakta hai yes, child parents and wife sab ke liye personal laws सिविल रेमेडी ऑलरेडी अवेलेबल थी उसके बावजूद इसे सीआरपीसी में इंक्लूड किया गया है व्हाट इज द पर्पस सो द पर्पस बिहाइंड इंक्लूडिंग दिस प्रोविजन इज दैट द ओरिजिन वाज देयर वाज अ कंट्रोवर्सी दैट अरोस इन द केस ऑफ शाहबानो केस वेयर इन द मुस्लिम वुमेन वर डिनाइड दिस राइट सो देयर आफ्टर दिस प्रोविजन वाज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड एंड द कोर्ट हेल्ड दैट the section 125 which provides for maintenance is a secular provision 
and uh, women from across the religion are able to claim maintenance under this provision so i think this could be the, one of the purposes with which it was introduced all right all right uh, this provision was uh, introduced after the shaban case Sorry, sir, I'm not sure about it, but I will read it up. All right, all right. Can you tell me the difference between section 82 and 83 of IPC? You can refer the merits if you wish to. Yes, sir. Uh, so section 82 of the Indian uh, Penal Code provides that any offense which is committed by a child below the seven years of age, uh, then such child is uh, given an immunity, then he would not be uh, seen as an accused or could not be tried. The second provision is uh, section 83, it provides that in case a child is above this age of seven years, but below the age of 12 years. Then in that particular case, the um, court has to look into the level of maturity that uh, the child uh, has at the time of commission of the offense. And on that basis, he could be tried and convicted or acquitted, whatever be the case. All right. Uh, as you can see, 82 deals with child under seven years of age. Yes, and 83 yes. deals with child above seven years of age. Yes, what about a child who is seven, exactly seven and committed an offense? Will it be dealt under 82 or 83? Sir, as far as my knowledge is concerned, I believe that a child who is of exact age of 7 years, he would be dealt under the provision of section 82 so as to give him like a sort of benefit to not be tried and... Okay, okay. All right. What do you understand by indigent person? My pardon, could you please repeat? What do you understand by indigent person? Uh, Ma'am, the concept of an uh, indigent person is uh, given under CPC and uh, it uh, it is provided that any person who uh, at the time of filing the case does not even, like he does not possess of the sufficient means to pay the court fee and where such fees is not prescribed, he does not even uh, possess uh, a property uh, of a value equivalent to rupees one one thousand. So in that case, such person would be treated as an indigent person. Drudhika, before this, there are many judicial services. Three judicial services examination have appeared in Haryana, Rajasthan, and Delhi. Yes. What do you think? What went wrong? What was your mistakes? Uh, sir, as much as I have been inclined towards joining Madhya Pradesh Judicial Services, I have appeared for these three examinations as a part of the process of preparing for this particular state. And uh, I think like a bit of a difference in the syllabus and a, a bit of lack of preparation on my end that has stopped me from clearing these examinations. But I think it is eventually... Uh, these examinations have helped me a lot and I have learned a lot from this process. For Why are you focusing on MP only? Why not other states? Sir, uh, my parents have been in the service uh, like from the very beginning. They have served in this particular state and even I have been a resident of this state from like from the very start. So I think appointments come here judges ke or some logo that is watching it and was up in a state me rain it all yet of problems solving attitude on a lot of this may increase the problem of appointment of judges that are some logo is watching it. Yes. Yes. Uh, sir, my uh, opinion on this would be that uh, as much as I am inclined towards joining this particular state service, but if uh, unfortunately unfortunately i'm not able to clear this and if in the near future i am given an opportunity of joining in any other state i think i would not be reluctant in joining as the ultimate aim is to serve the judicial services be it in any state but if preference is given and i am able to clear it i would join Madhya. why do you want to be a judge 
sir uh, the intention behind joining uh, judicial services examination like any other law aspirant this has been one of the career prospects in my mind since the very beginning of my law school journey but uh, as i interned like in the various fields during my law school i developed a sort of inclination towards this particular uh, uh, this particular service and it further uh, strengthened my conviction to join it so after exploring all the other uh, relative fields of the law i thought that judicial services is like one of the uh, best platform where i could even utilize my skill and serve the services in even efficient way uh, you've completed your 10th board from uh, navodaya school yes, yes, uh, when yes. was it established navodaya uh ma'am the navodaya vidyalaya samiti was established uh, in the year 1985 1986 it was introduced through the national education policy of 1986 and uh, initially it was started in two districts uh, the district of jhalawar and amravati and once they were found a successful uh, like a uh, project then it was started across india so the 10th class mein tumhare percentage the 95 12th mein it was 94.4 yes sir law 70 point here sir like once i entered law school uh, i have been engaged in various other activities so that is one of the reasons that uh, like i maintained a balance but uh, somewhere it was like uh, i had to make a compromise between the studies and the extra curricular activities but i made sure that a balance is maintained mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. mm -hmm. i have been increased over 86 yes sir curricular activities being very good sir so for the past one year like i already mentioned that i was also preparing for the judicial services examination and we were already in the midst of the pandemic so i did not get much of the opportunities to participate in such activities so i entirely focused on my studies alongside the like the preparation also helped me to perform in a better way there all right all right so today we are going to be super thank you sir thank you ma'am <laughs> so how was the experience it was nice sir uh, like i think i was better prepared today uh, uh, all right all right uh kaafi cheeze achhi hai almost sab kuch sahi hai and the way you went to uh, body language is fine the way you were sitting jo jis tarike se communicate initially thoda sa tha lack of confidence बट वो बहुत ही जेन्य है मतलब वो इनेविटेबल है वहां तो ज्यादा हो सकता है तो इट्स बट वो आगे जैसे व्हेन यू स्टार्टेड आंसरिंग क्वेश्चंस तो फिर वो नहीं विजिबल था फिर वो रिफ्लेक्ट नहीं हो रहा था बॉडी लैंग्वेज में आंसर्स व्हिच इज गुड बाकी वो नर्वसनेस तो होगी अच्छा लेकिन बाकी चीजें ठीक है एक चीज मुझे लगी जैसे जो वो वाला क्वेश्चन था स्पेसिफिकली टेबल टेनिस वाला मैंने आज यू हाउ दिस कैन बी बेनिफिशियल in your selection uska bahut satisfactory answer mujhe nahi laga aur aage to team work usme kuch hai nahi as such ha wo kyunki ha like us context mein jo maine preparation kari thi wo thoda ki kaun prominent players hai mp se kaun hai yaar rules wagera to ye ek thoda unexpected aa gaya tha to problem hai ki koi aisi jankari jo aapke chahiye na sahayak ko to aapne wahan table tennis likha tha should be ready for that as well acha aur kisi bhi especially table tennis mein jo mujhe lagta hai should be a was good observer बहुत इतने बेसिक मतलब क्लाइंट 
वो जो इंस्टिंक्ट आया था वो ये था कि मतलब ऐसे कि रिकॉल करने जाओ फिर एकदम से क्लियरली ना याद आए तो वो जो बीच में थोड़ा ऑकवर्ड साइलेंस टाइप का होता है उस चीज को अवॉइड करना मुझे लगता है क्योंकि बहुत बेसिक है मतलब चलो कुछ मैं थोड़ा सा ऐसा पूछूं व्हिच इज नॉट इतना इतना कॉमन प्रोविजन ना हो इन दैट केस आपको शायद थॉट देने की जरूरत नहीं पड़ेगी बट दैट वाज वेरी कॉमन तो अगर एक थॉट थोड़ा सा लो के उस पे एंड देन यू गो फॉर इट इट विल बी बेटर ओके है ना क्योंकि मतलब ये थोड़ा सा एक ये भी है ना कि मतलब इट विल बी दे भी नहीं आ रहा है मतलब कम्युनिकेशन वॉज गुड वही थोड़ा सा जैसे आप एंटर होते हो तो वो तो बट नेचुरल चीज है बट ओवर द पीरियड व्हेन योर इंटरव्यू वाज गोइंग आप व्हेन यू गॉट अक्वेंटेड विद द पैनल यू वर ऑन योर गुड पार्ट तो रेस्ट इज फाइन फ्रॉम माय साइड द वे यू एंटर द वे द वे यू लेफ्ट द रूम इट वाज आल्सो एज एक्सपेक्टेड कि एकदम तुरंत ही शुड नॉट शो बैक टू द पैनल है ना सो दैट वे ओनली यू लेफ्ट द रूम यू एंटर द सेम वे व्हिच इज एब्सोल्युटली फाइन ओके है ना तो बाकी कुछ मुझे लगता नहीं है और या फिर ऐसा कुछ है की मुझे सिर्फ अपने तक ही लिमिटेड रखना चाहिए कुछ क्वेश्चन होते हैं जिनके बारे में कुछ भी नहीं मतलब पता होता है एकदम ब्लैंक होते हैं तो ठीक है सॉरी बोल दिया बट जैसे कुछ क्वेश्चन है जहाँ पे दो ऑप्शन के बीच में कंफ्यूजन है हाँ तो उसमें मतलब वो क्वेश्चंस लेने चाहिए अटेम्प्ट करने चाहिए करने चाहिए क्योंकि क्या होगा ना ऐसे में जहाँ कंफ्यूजन वाली स्टेट है उसको भी अगर तुम मना करोगे तो देर मे बी चांस कि बहुत सारे ऐसे क्वेश्चन उधर इसका आंसर ना दे पाए सो इफ यू आर नॉट श्योर करिंग दिस टू द बोर्ड ओके आई एम नॉट श्योर बट आई एम ट्राइंग फॉर इस तरीके से करके यू कैन ट्राई फॉर आई एम नॉट वेरी श्योर अबाउट दी प्रोविजन या ऐसा कुछ है की इन सेक्शन में आते हैं यू कैन कन्वे उसको अटेम्प्ट करो उट माई प्रिपरेशन has been proved to be extremely beneficial in my selection in the Madhya Pradesh civil judge examination i would like to take this opportunity to thank nitesh sir as well as each and every member of the team alec for helping me and providing me constant support and guidance so thank you team alec